I want to give Nitro a lot of credit. What a performance from the in-game leader. He played a fantastic game of Counter-Strike. Liquid played a fantastic game of Counter-Strike. I don't think a lot of people had them as favorites going up against Na'Vi, but what we saw yesterday was a positive sign. What we saw today against Na'Vi, another positive sign. So some of the question marks we had, you know, surrounding Team Liquid coming into this tournament, I guess the man coming into to me right here, you know, deleted some of those. Yeah, you definitely did. Nitro, I, I want to just say, you had one hell of a game when you started things off on Inferno, right? Yeah. But then, across this whole series, you've been playing lights out, yeah? Special sauce something happened today? No, nothing really. Uh, I don't <laughs> so know. Casual. I'm just you know, a little bit inconsistent, but uh, it just shows that I still have it when it matters. And yeah. uh, just got to find that consistency piece for me, whatever it is, and uh, just keep on going from there. And with this, right, I hope you realize that you just booked your slot for the world finals and the amount of points you managed to gain. How does nice. that feel? It feels amazing. That, that was our main goal coming into this event. And uh, now we can focus on winning the tournament and just keep, keep on improving and uh, just give it all we have for the last event of the year. I spoke to you a couple of days ago and you told me the mood within the team and the feeling coming into this tournament was, was a positive one. What changed from the major coming into to this one? Um, I feel like right now we're, we're kind of, we, we don't really feel too much pressure. Um, I, like, when, like I said, like when you have like really high expectations for a roster and you kind of get like shut down and beat down, it's like, Okay, they kind of like put us back in our place and now we understand that we have like this vengeance to to keep on competing and keep on winning and improving. So, uh, honestly, I'm not really sure. can't really speak for all my teammates, but I, I, it, we definitely have a good mindset right now. Should we worry then, now that you beat Navi? Is, is there some more pressure coming on your shoulders or, or is it still, you know, pressure-free tournament for you guys? No, we don't really care who we play. Uh, it's, it's just a matter of how we feel in the, in the moment and whoever's in front of us, we just play against. Uh, we're not scared of like any team in the world right now. And we just, we just, yeah, like I said, we just kind of play against who's in front of us and, and pre pre prepare the same way every time. Talk to me about the Dust 2, right? Because they start off with a fantastic first half. It looks like you guys are just going to bow out easily, but you do start to mount some sort of a comeback. Do you think it was important that you showed you could fight back in that one to help you on the third? Yeah, it's always a key factor when you get destroyed on one half of your game, right? Uh, we're like, all right, guys, if we're not going to win this game, let's just make sure we get some confidence going to the next map because they were playing really well in Dust 2. And we haven't played Dust 2 in a, in a minute, and it was a clear pick from them. Um, so even though we prepared really well for them, they still played super well. And I don't know, it was T-sided for some reason on both sides. <laughs> I'm curious to, to your perspective, Nitro, because from the outside, it looks like Navi right now is, is struggling a little bit. They're not playing at the same high level we've seen for quite some time. You beat them at the major, you now beat them here as well. For you on the server, what does it feel like playing Navi right now? Are they, are they weaker than usually? Um, I'm not really sure. I feel like Whenever we play them, we just play pretty well versus them and their style. We understand how they play really well. Um, obviously, having a Kinder and he's a CIS, so they, he understands like how they play their mentality and all this stuff. Okay. And uh, even in 2019, when we were the best team, we always played really well versus Navi. And uh, I don't know. It's just we're like the one team that that they struggle really hard against for some okay. odd reason. I'm not really sure if it, what's going on, but uh, we just have a lot of confidence versus them. Well, that conference certainly paid off. Now, I've got one final question for you here, Nitro. It's from our Blast TV viewers at home. They get to decide some of the questions that we throw in here. So it says, who is your favorite player to play with outside of your team? Uh, favorite player to play with outside of my team? <laughs> no, Pip, you're not allowed to be chosen for this. It's been a long time since he played with you. No pressure. So, like, not my current roster. Not your current roster, yeah. So maybe some players you're uh, playing pubs with. Can't Chris? be any development. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Do you get to play with him much anymore? Uh... No, not really. He's, he's in Europe, so we don't yeah. really uh, game too much together. But yeah, he's probably my favorite. And why is it? Why twist? Uh, we just we just vibe. I don't okay. know. So there's always We're just a good, good friends time. outside of the game, and we just enjoy each other's presence. I love it. Well, Nitro, thank you very much for your time. We're going to take a look at the brackets and see where we're at as we have our quarterfinals and semifinals now decided here for the Blast full finals.